Veterans Day today, a closer look at the resources available to them once their brave service to our country is done. Corey Heppala shows us how one nonprofit organization is helping veterans' dreams come true. Started a company and Tim O'Neill served seven years in the Marine Corps, so he knows what it's like when that experience in service is ending. And I'm not sure what's next, but I want to go out and start my own business. I may not know what that looks like, or what the first steps are to take, but that's their desire, that's their intent. O'Neill's heard that from veterans over and over, so he wrote about it as a guest commentator in this month's Twin Cities Business, citing military studies that after World War II, nearly 50% of vets owned a business. Today, that number's plummeted to just 5%, which has O'Neill working to help through Bunker Labs. And it really starts with kind of our, our motto of inspire, equip, and connect. Bunker Labs is a national nonprofit of veteran entrepreneurs dedicated to helping new vets chase down their dream. In terms of starting up your own business, there can be some real challenges with it. I mean, the first is, is having context to know that people that have come before you have done it and have been successful in doing it. Like FedEx and Comcast, both veteran startups. Same with Bunker Labs, which is in Minneapolis and 21 other cities across the country. In less than five years, it's helped more than 750 veteran startups through its digital course and networking. So what we found is veterans don't need to necessarily meet one another. They need to meet people that are local and relevant to the community that can really help them take the next steps with, with their businesses. A chance right. to mentor or serve by helping our former service members. Corey Heppola, CARE 11 News.